In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a fantastic tool that you can use for school or maybe you can use for content creation that is going to help you bypass any AI detector. So whenever you use a program like ChatGPT to AI generate text, you can also use this program hand in hand to regurgitate those words so it just doesn't sound like it's written by AI and this can be very useful for school for the obvious reasons or it could be even useful for trying to rank on Google. Let's say you want to rank for SEO purposes Google has ways to see if it's AI written but if you use a program like bypass GPT you can get your website ranked higher by using AI written articles or whatever you choose to do there's a whole bunch of reasons you could want to use bypass GPT and I'll just be showing you guys in today's video on how it works so huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video it really supports me and the channel and if you want to use the program I'll have the link down below so that you guys can do that but let's get into how it works so you can see on their website these are all the supported detectors that bypass GPT can bypass. So we have some really big ones here. The biggest being GPT zero and turn it in. I know turn it in is used for a bunch of school systems. And then GPT zero is just a very popular AI detector that I know a lot of people use. So I'm going to go to chat GPT here and I'm going to ask for a paragraph on why the bunny is the mascot of Easter. I'm recording this video on Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to all of you guys watching. I doubt this video is going to go out anytime soon on Easter, but it is Easter and we're going to get a paragraph here from chat GPT. Now this is obviously AI generated and if we put it into a program like let's say GPT zero, which is one of those AI detectors I was talking about earlier. We can go ahead and check the origin and as you can see 100 ai generated so if you were to submit this as a school assignment or let's say you were to submit this like as an article on your website it's not going to rank properly because google is easily going to catch on to this because it's 100 ai generated now what we're going to do is go to bypass gpt and we're going to paste in that same text we got from chat gpt and we are going to humanize it. And you can actually choose the different modes in which you want to humanize it. So you could do the fastest option. You could do a very creative option. So let's say you want your writing to be a lot more creative, or you could just do the enhanced option. So we're going to go with that and we're going to select humanize here. And in just a couple seconds, it has now reworded our little paragraph we have on the origin of the Easter bunny. And now when we go back over to a AI detector like GPT zero, we're going to paste in that new text that was bypassed by GPT and we're going to hit scan. And as you can see, it has went down from 100% to 3%. So basically nothing. And it is now classified as a human written paragraph. Now, something I did want to mention and something people don't really understand when using chat GPT, I see this common misconception happen a lot with these bypassers is they say, well, why can't you just use chat GPT to rewrite the paragraph so it doesn't get Get caught for AI. So as you can see, I asked ChatGPT rewrite this so it doesn't get detected for plagiarism. And you'd think, okay, this paragraph would be fine. But when we paste it into GPT zero, you're going to see that our score is 100% AI generated, even though we wrote ChatGPT, hey, can you rewrite this so it doesn't get detected? That's why it's really important to use programs like bypass GPT. If you are worried about your text being detected for SEO purposes, school purposes, whatever it be now like i said earlier there's other ai detectors that bypass gpt supports it's not just gpt zero so let's try out another one and see if we also get a low score so now i'm going to try out with another example here i'm going to ask chat gpt to write a short essay on why likes matter on youtube videos and i'll leave this as a nice little call to action for you guys if you could just drop a like on this video it would mean a ton in the algorithm as chat gpt is telling us right now and what we're going to do is we are going to copy this over we're going to put it in bypass gpt and i'm going to show you once again with whatever ai detector you use as long as you use bypass gpt you are going to get a human written score now i can already tell you just from using chat gpt a ton that this is obviously going to get picked up just from the way it's written you can just tell from the human eye that it's an ai generated piece of text but just for show i'm going to paste this in here and we are going to scan that text and there you go we got a zero percent human score so obviously this was ai generated but now we are going to go ahead and paste that in to bypass gbt and we're going to select humanize and i'm just now realizing this 
on a bypass GPT, it actually shows you all the different sites that it was able to bypass. And as you can see, it was able to bypass everything down there. But just in case you think bypass GPT is lying or something, we're going to go to the actual website. So we're going to go to Winston here. We're going to paste in that brand new text that has been bypassed and we got a 100% human score. So that's back to back examples showcasing that bypass gpt works on bypassing ai and yeah if you actually read through the text here too it sounds good on paper like you would be able to submit this as an assignment and it would do pretty well obviously if you are planning on using this for school i do recommend adding some of your own changes just because i think ai is gonna have a negative impact on some people's learning ability but that's just a personal opinion i think just for school but if you're using this for like content creation and all that stuff just don't even worry or like seo purposes especially I think this is very useful for ranking your websites and it's something I've been looking into a ton. But yeah, Bypass GBT will be linked down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one.